So here is the ride on board for the Cybex Gazelle S. And I just wanted to show you guys how it works and how to install it and what I like and dislike about it. Um, so to install it, it's pretty straightforward. You just put this in one end and then you push this one down on the other end. And then this, the board just clips on just like that. Um, it's pretty heavy duty. Um, I like it a lot. I feel like fairly easy to install. Um, in order to take it off, you kind of have to do one side at a time, pull down that lever, pull down this lever, and there you go. And you can kind of just leave that bar on if you'd like um, to make it easier in the future when you go to just pop it on. One thing I will say, since I always compare this stroller to the Up Baby Vista V2, is that I do not like that you cannot keep the ride on board on. So with the Up Baby Vista V2, you can just kind of put the board up and it stays resting. Whereas this one, as you can see, you cannot do that. And so you do need to take it off and put it on every time, um, which I do find to be a little bit of a pain, but you know, kind of worth the reasons why I have the Cybex Gazelle S instead of the Up Baby Vista V2. So let me just show you what it looks like on the stroller. It's pretty nice. I like that it is shaped this way because it kind of allows you to walk without kicking it. Although I will say that I have kicked it a time or two. Um, sometimes I will choose to kind of just push the stroller with one hand and then walk to the side of it. Another thing I want to mention is that when my son is standing on it, he is so right now he's two and a half years old. He is on the shorter side and thankfully I am short as well, but I do need to have the handlebar on the lower position um, because that will allow his face to kind of sit in here. Whereas if I have this in the upwards position, it does not allow for him to stand on there. show you the difference with it on the lower position he can actually like stand and this is obviously only a problem because I have this little stroller caddy on it I feel like my feet are more likely to hit it whereas if I did have this positioned upwards then it would obviously make it less likely for my feet to hit the board because I'm way further away from the board. So I guess I just need to take off this stroller caddy or just be very careful when I have it lowered. It's pretty stable and sturdy so I do feel like I'm able to go over pretty rough terrain with it and it handles that fairly well. Um, one thing I will note, and I can't comment on whether the Uppa Baby Vista's right on board does this, um, but it does kind of make this jingling sound, which kind of bothers me. I would say a rattling sound. But again, pretty stable. I can go over really rough terrain with it. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the bar down, like I said. Um, if I were to put this handlebar up, his face would basically be hitting the stroller caddy, so I wouldn't be able to have it there. It is able to handle 
rough terrain, like I said, with no issues. Overall, I like it for what it is, but it definitely has its shortcomings, and I think it falls short compared to the Upa Baby Vista right on board. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I know there's not a lot of videos about the ride on board.